It's time for Flynn's route. Time for Flynn's route. Time for me to do this voice a whole lot. You're gonna like have like a sore throat. He's never had that much of a presence in any of his routes. It's gonna be weird. He always comes and goes really fast. I look back at Flynn as he spends as he winds his way down the trail towards the road. I sigh angrily, starting towards him. Chase, I wouldn't. Oh right, we had the uh, we discussed this in some previous episode, and so a lot of people were saying what route they did first, mm-hmm. and somewhat distressingly potentially given the route that we've been recommended, a lot of people go to TJ first because they want to console him because they feel bad for TJ, which really kind doing of doing TJ routes first really has to color the rest of this in a crazy way. <laughs> Yeah. And a lot of people also go for uh, Flynn first. Because, like, what's his deal? He seems interesting. What, what's he storming off about? And that's also going to be a lot, considering we've been told to do his route last. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> they did the... Uh, I guess that makes sense. TJ's probably... Like, I'm trying to think if I, like... Yeah. And then people either go for Carl or Leo because they think he's hot. <laughs> In both cases. I mean, that makes sense. I, I wouldn't... Flynn's, like, probably the last one I would pick, because I'm kind of pissed at him right now yeah. if, if I had no other context. He stresses me out. Yeah, me too. Someone's got to talk sense into that idiot. He thinks he can just get away with this shit? You know how he is. I keep walking. He's moving pretty slow, so it's easy to catch up with him. He's got his hands jammed into his pockets as he walks along, his head down. Hands jammed in his pockets. Hey. Flynn. He jerks his head up, then looks back around at me. He's chewing on a toothpick, which he promptly pulls out of his muzzle. The hell? What the fuck you think you're doing, Chase? Go back. Yeah, right. You think you just walk away from me after saying shit like that? <laughs> I'll fucking drown you. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Snowflake. <laughs> He stops walking and turns around fully to face me. I step up right in front of him, just a few feet away. He looks me over and, for some reason, I can see a smile threatening to crack his face as he tries to keep it hidden. Yeah? And what are you going to do about it? I shrug. Talk? We were having a good time. Why do you have to go and turn everything good? He suddenly steps up close thrusting his chest out into me. It hits me around the neck, and I stumble back. His chest hits you in the neck? <laughs> it doesn't really work. How How does that... I don't know. <laughs> I'm really having trouble imagining how this works puzzle piece-wise. Like, <laughs> these, <laughs> there's just stuff in the way of... A, a normal human has a lot in the way of their neck already. Yeah, this is... And you've got longer faces. But I'm, I'm also having a hard time picturing how I would phrase this. Like, I'm trying to think, yeah. like, how to phrase it better, but it's kind of an awkward <laughs> thing to try to phrase it all, so... Like, I get he's taller, I guess. I don't know. Not in the mood. I'm just gonna start chest bumping people yeah, just, when I don't want to talk to you them. Just chest checks them, like... <laughs> this is a normal Back behavior. Back off. I got a chest. I don't, I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, sexy. He sticks the toothpick back in his muzzle before he turns and starts walking away again. Go back to the river so you can all talk about what an asshole I am. We could do that anywhere. What? I watch him go for a bit. I'm not too worried about Flynn actually beating me up. I'd annoyed him pretty bad before, and he had never actually heard me. At least not maliciously. On top of that, he'd have Leo to answer too if he ever did anything like that. And he knows how that would end up. Still, he did look pretty angry when he stepped towards TJ. More than I'd ever seen him, probably. Now might not be the best time to do this. There's a turn back option? What, what? does that do? Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, uh, <laughs> Definitely I'm... not worth it. Can you just... Is this just like a chance to warn people? This might be a... Ch I can see why... Hmm... I wonder if you just get to pick another option. Like that, That's what I'm curious about, too. Yeah, I feel like this might be a safe... Like, they might have very specifically intended you to not do this one early. And so they gave you a like chance. A warning, they give you like a warning, They give you, like, a chance to, like, put... Like, just a chance to carve some of those people off and be like, Nope, please don't do this one first. <laughs> just discourage people from doing this one first. Let, let's see. Like, yeah, I, I really wonder... don't want to make things worse than they already are. 
I sigh, watching the broad shoulders of the Gillian. 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 Gil 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 Gilligan's <laughs> Island. Gil get smaller and smaller before I turn back. One of the others probably needs my company more than Flynn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So start over. Cause <laughs> yeah, it's one hundred percent chance to escape. That's, that's so that's funny. funny. I was wondering if that was like a, like a choice that would actually affect like our outcome, but it's not. It's literally just say stop here while you can. You're re it's you're reading this book backwards. This is a manga. It was meant to be read like <laughs> <laughs> back to front. Oops! I just quit the game. Uh, where is the? Doop, doop, the oh, there he is. Load. Shut up, Genshin Impact. I don't even have you. Why are you giving me updates about Genshin? Shut up. Would you... He's actually a huge fan of Genshin Impact. Keep going. Keep going. <clears throat> Screw him. Once again, he thinks he can act like an... he can. He thinks the act of an asshole can just brush off whoever he doesn't want to talk to. Well, I'm about to show him exactly why that doesn't work when it's a stubborn otter he's up against. Time to spend a whole week with this guy. I just fucking glomped onto him. I start following again, doing a little jog to catch up. This time, Flynn hears me and whirls around, pulling the toothpick out of his mouth, mouth again. What a cool dude with a toothpick in his mouth. Like, when I, I, It's an entire act. I still do that sometimes when I want to feel cool. I hold it between my teeth when... Uh, don't let it kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, you've never seen Uncle Buck, have you? I don't know what that means. It's a movie? John, starring John Candy? <clears throat> no. There's a, distinctly a part I always quote whenever I have a toothpick, and it's like, there's this creep and he's hitting on the teenage daughter, and he's like, people call me pal, because I'm a real nice guy. <laughs> and he, and he, he, like, he, he, he turns the toothpick in his mouth so it's like vertical, and then he like, he like, he turns it over and over again. Which is like, a, like he, like, he basically is flipping it in his mouth. So he's opening his mouth really open to like yeah. flip the toothpick. And then John Candy scares him and basically makes him choke on it because he's like defending the, the his, like niece, his house. niece. But I, I used to, I know how to flip it because I used to do that and like quote it because I thought it was funny. <laughs> Come on, pal, because I'm a real nice Next time guy. we what go out to you, I'm going to do that to you. He's just, he's just being a creep. It's just baffling. People call me pal because I'm a real nice guy. Your ears filled with water? I said fuck off. I flinch a little under his yelling, but I square my shoulders and walk up to him, standing my ground. Now I'm only three feet away. Or what? You're gonna hit me? Really? Go on. Try it. I've got a low center of mass. I'll fuck you up. I got tiny outer legs. <laughs> I'm hard to topple. <laughs> I have a small hitbox. <laughs> I got a small hitbox. <laughs> I look him in the eye and immediately I know I have nothing to worry about. This is Flynn, after all. One of my best friends. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I believe <laughs> that you. That means a lot in this game. With all of Chase's many friends that he has healthy relationships with. Whether or not he'd ever admit to it, our little group is family. No matter how many stupid fights we get into. Oh, so, mm, okay. This, mm. this family's about to have a divorce. Also, a lot of you fuck each other, so yeah. it's not really family-like to me. He's trying to scare me, though. The way he's leaning over me, glaring. I just smirk up at him, and pretty soon, I see his facade crack. He slumps down, letting out one massive sigh, deflating like a life-size lizard balloon. We've had a lot of... <laughs> got a lot of balloon deflating <laughs> Bella drugs today. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking otters. What do you want? I want you to stop being a dick. No. What if he actually brings Flynn back? What if that's what this route is? Is he brings him back to the group and like that day continues? <laughs> How weird would yeah, that maybe be? Maybe this game, maybe this one ends with closure. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> it's hard to imagine. Flynn looks right back at me and but glares. Maybe. Some of the posturing coming back. What? Oh Christ, you heard me. That is not a good thing to say to me right now. Flynn st starts leaning over me again and I... Lean right back, almost bumping muzzles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, everything you said there was not a good thing to say. I see the corner of one of his eyes twitch. We're so close I can smell the beer on his breath. 
I see that smirk tug at his muzzle again. Coming in for a kiss? Oh, he had the same thought. I will kiss you, Snowflake. I'll do it. Yeah. Mm, mm. Snowflake. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss for dominance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, isn't that how isn't that how it's done, right? Yeah, that's how you right? determine which mm -hmm. one's the bottom. <laughs> you just aggressively kiss until someone loses. You know, they KO and fly out of the ring, and then a, then a, a burst of light flashes out of the side of the screen. I just imagine a nature documentary, like it being narrated, like oh, to assert their dominance. Like, <laughs> the lizard and the otter kiss. <laughs> just the way that actual like romance uh, novelists would would write a kissing scene, like. Like, the two battling for dominance. <laughs> Their tongues battling. Yes, exactly! <laughs> Their tongues battling for dominance. <laughs> Control F that on Amazon, see how many books come up. <laughs> well, I mean, I read some fan fiction. I know, I know what people write. <laughs> oh, that might be Morio 3. He presses even closer, and I feel my muzzle flush. But I'm not backing down. I see how it is. You're bored with Leo, and now you want some lizard action, eh? Yes, please. No, I just want an explanation. He raises a brow and leans back a little. Of why you're being such a dick when we're all supposed to be having fun. Actually, I think I know exactly what this is. You're trying to prove me wrong. Well, being an obnoxious twit doesn't suddenly mean you've got a personality. <laughs> oh, right, because he said he, that's what he said in the first place. Mm -hmm. He dressed down everyone's, everyone's thing and kind of summarized them. And Chase uh, was that he was boring. Yeah, he's like a spineless, boring, nothing personality guy. Almost like he's been hollowed out and replaced by like another character that makes choices for him. Yeah. Anyway, they told me to speak my mind. I did. He turns away again and starts walking. I quickly catch up and start walking alongside him. Which is impressive because I have tiny otter legs and I'm always yeah. falling over. Well, well to yeah, pull up the chase trip counter. I wonder <laughs> where we're at. I wonder how. To, I wonder if he's gonna trip this route too. Let's see. Yep. That's not an answer. Besides, if something's true, that doesn't mean you have to point out in the middle of everyone's vacation. Flynn keeps walking, opting to glare at the dusty trail. Do you really think I'm just looking to bone all of you? I'm not. Flynn laughs, and for once, it's not cynical, it's genuine. I think what you're doing right now isn't helping your case, Chase. What? I'm just trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with you, Flynn. My phone buzzes and I pull it out. Are you okay? It's a text from Leo. I've been meaning to check. Can I click on things? I don't know. I think people have mentioned there's like an easter egg with this thing, but I don't know if this is the right spot or how it works. <laughs> Everything's fine, and I'm just trying to talk to Flynn. Flynn snorts right in my ear, making me jump. <laughs> He's checking the phone. <laughs> He's a stealthy giant man. I jerk my phone away as I realize he's been reading over my shoulder. What? Wolfie boy thinks I'm gonna clock you for being annoying? You almost hit TJ. Almost. That'd be the ultimate unforgivable sin. Just punching TJ in the face. <laughs> like, oh well, time to kill Flynn in every route. <laughs> He's, he's, he's unforgivable now. Yeah, it's honestly, like, probably the only... Everyone else. That's the only bridge sure. too far. <laughs> even, even Jenna, go for it. TJ, hmm. At this point, we're walking around, walking along Lake Emma Road, the trail winding between it and the reservoir itself. There's a little guardrail on the lakeside, but it's rusty, and I seriously doubt it would stop any car from going over into the lake. Another ten minutes, and we'll reach the motel. Yeah, the guardrail didn't stop fucking, uh... Oh my god, what's his name? Cameron from falling into the lake. Like, in arches, he just fucking... Just, just directly in. Nothing's stopping him. This guardrail doesn't do shit. The guardrail is just a suggestion. <laughs> it's a gesture. Don't go in the lake, please. We're trying to we're trying to make this place a resort. It's not working. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Another ten minutes and we'll reach the motel. Mm. My phone buzzes again, as I get a response from Leo. 
If he does anything, call me. Flynn sighs again. He stops, and I turn to face him. He looks sad for once, staring hard at the ground. I just sort of blacked out for a second. I was angry. Oh. Uh, that's what murderers say after they kill their exes. <laughs> Jesus, Chase. <laughs> well, okay, I fucked up. Yeah, no shit. It's just... It's just something that's been fucking with me ever since it happened. That he's not telling the truth. Flynn looks up at me sharply. You know he isn't. Flynn's staring at me hard, as if he's looking for something. And this time I do look away. Well, what if he is? No. No, you saw him right after it happened. How scared he was. How he couldn't look at any of us. I have no idea what to say. Flynn never talks about this. Before the uh, before today, the last t time I'd heard him mention Sydney was like six years ago. It just... It really fucked me up. And... That we thought we could just come back to this stupid fucking lake. He kicks his foot across the ground towards the reservoir, some pebbles falling over the steep drop and plopping into the water. It fucked us all up, but Flynn most of all. Look, Flynn, maybe something did happen, something he doesn't want to tell us. But it's TJ, you know what kind of person he is. And that's what makes this so fucking shitty. But we were kids, he was like ten years old, we're different people now. Looking behind Flynn, I see Leo's van coming up the road, oh. Hmm. Flynn waits for me to go on, but he sees me looking back, and does so himself. As soon as he sees the van, he folds his arms and turns his head to look out across the lake. As it pulls up alongside us, the window rolls down, and I see and I see Jenna in the passenger seat, Leo next to her. Uh, hey, we're heading back. Want to get in? Flynn doesn't say anything. Instead, choosing to continue staring at the lake. I decide that it's probably a good idea for me to walk with him instead of making him do it alone. Nah, that's alright. We're just talking. Leo shifts his gaze to Flynn, studying him before turning back to me, planning his demise for ruining his chances. <laughs> <laughs> alright, uh, text me later, okay? Yeah. That's not what he said, whatever. The window rolls back up as the van pulls away, kicking up some dust on the, on the, from the roadside as it does. I turn back to Flynn, who's still looking at the lake, chewing slowly on his toothpick. That's when his stomach growls so loudly it almost makes me jump. I snort, and Flynn fixes me with a glare. What? I didn't get to eat. Neither did I, which is your fault. Flynn grunts and keeps walking up the trail towards Echo, the town's windows and rusted signs glinting in the desert haze. I skip up alongside him. Hey, why don't we go to the diner? It's just a few min minutes away. Flynn grimaces. I can't eat that shit anymore. What? When's the last time you ate there? A few years ago. Wow. What do you eat then? Does Flynn he laughs. live in Peyton? Uh He works in Peyton. Where does Flynn live? I think he works here. I think his I think Flynn's mom is the governor. I or thought, aunt is the governor. For some reason I thought he was tied to Peyton. I think he works at I think he works as like uh some kind of I think he has like some kind of desk job at Town Hall, and I think that's in Echo. Okay. Because specifically, you will remember in the in Jenna's ending, he's got this call. I don't remember. I don't remember if it was verified or not, but I think I think he was trying to figure out like where his like like where his aunt or mom was. Yeah. Because that the, that's the uh, his aunt is somebody big. Because yeah, because because ba bad something bad happened in that town, one way or another. Like things were were shit. No matter what happens there. Flynn laughs. 
I go to Peyton where they actually have grocery stores. Oh. And I go okay. fishing. Imagine not living in a food drought. Or yeah, in a in a food desert. That's desert, the word. Yeah. There we go. A few moments of silence pass before Flynn speaks up again. I guess it wouldn't hurt to eat there again, for old times' sake. Welcome back! She's in every route. Dude, <laughs> every I, time. It's okay, I like- And sometimes she's not even peeing. <laughs> I like voicing her, she's kind of want- she's kind of crazy. But who is the meat? Who was the meat, we'll never, Janice? I don't think we'll ever know. Who was the meat? <laughs> was it the red panda? <laughs> oh, I hope, was he the meat? I hope not, I liked him. <laughs> He was cute. I've now had verification because they've taught they've they've tweeted at me and stuff that that is indeed another guest person. What the red panda? The panda, yeah. It's like a bonus guest character. Oh, I it, mean, I, I figured. It's like it. there's like a major it. guest character every route, but there was that route had like a bonus guest character, just a little, little extra one as a treat for one scene with one sprite, no variations. Well, he I, just looks moderately concerned. <laughs> I uh. Well, first of all, that face works perfect, considering the scene. Yeah, I think the, I think the comment that I saw was like, they're like, like, Inji has, Inji is in for one scene and has one sprite total, and he's instantly the hottest character in the game, was the comment. That yeah. I read. No, I, 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 I liked him quite a lot. He was very cute. We walk into the diner. My senses are assaulted by nostalgia. Everything looks and smells the same. From the faded, patched stools to the smell of burgers and fries. I want to go to this room right now, honestly. Getting, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> and I want to be there, specifically. Well, too bad. God you have it. coupons for Panda Express. I know! Which is not, sucks. Which is not this. I, I legitimately don't really want Panda, but I should spend these coupons that are buy one, get one free for an entire meal. But... Ye I we do don't want have to go to, go to a to, diner. We don't have to go to Panda. I know! I could just not save money. Like, well, I mean, like only, usual. You just have to use them in the next two days. Ah. But, but, ah. but, but to be honest, American food is honestly my least favorite. Like, that is like, I hardly I ever, like a lot of diner food. I'm not a diner person. Um, I like the, I like the experience of being in a diner. I like the vibe of being <laughs> in a diner. I'm sorry. I just opened my phone just to launch DoorDash, just to type diner into it. But the first thing I see is just a notification from Coor on Twitter, and all it says is, I learned the horrible truth. Oh, that's so scary. <laughs> what does that mean? I feel like it's better if I don't check, and we never give the audience an answer about what horrible truth uh, Coor has discovered. Well, boys and girls. that's the funniest girls, notification I've had in a while. Find I've out what the horrible truth is on the next episode. That is one of the funniest notifications I've had on my phone in ages. I should screenshot that for to put in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Cursed. But... <laughs> Fuck, I, I, just, I forgot, you can't just, like, find diners easily. If you type diner, you just get fucking Black Bear, which is not a diner, basically. <laughs> it's not, it's, well, it's only not a good. diner if you, like, literally go up and sit at the diner. Oh, damn it, what is a local diner? Fuck it. The, we, the, there's no local diner I'll resolve here. this later. It's just, it's just, we, okay. We, we just don't have diner. We have, we have a Foster's. Foster's is a diner. Uh, is it? Yeah, I mean, Mel's is better a better diner or more of a diner but I don't think we have a Mel's when I think of diners I think of a building shaped like this D Mel's tricked me why I'm mad why because I thought it was real you so you've never seen see so you haven't seen American Graffiti yet no 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 M Mel's are everywhere yeah but it's based but off like, of the diner from American Graffiti yeah but like I grew up at a Mel's well, I don't I've never seen American Graffiti you see that's the problem but like I grew up I grew up with a Mel's nearby and it's called the original Mel's so I believed it but then I went to a different town, and that one's also called the original Mel's. See, I'm like, you motherfuckers, how dare it, it, you? It's like, it's like Bubba Gums. How dare you lie to me? I thought I had the original Mel's in my town. No. <laughs> They're all the original Mel's? This is bullshit. If you'd seen the movie. I'm suing Mel's. <laughs> like I did as a child. You see this, and you go, this is a themed restaurant based off of a movie. That's why there's pictures of Ron Howard everywhere. Like, you're not questioning why there's pictures of the of the cast in the diner. No, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, no, they're. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. For me, Mel's is just a place where they have the no they have the the gimmick of like the menus inside the table, like it's under the the glass. It's just so the kids don't get their greasy little like, grubby hands. Yeah, on I'm it. like, this is nice. I don't have to like deal with the menu, and I can just see it the whole time. 
I like the jukebox at, yeah. the, at the table. But you just, you just get it. It's but like I can't actually can't remember anything about Mel's because I haven't been one to ages. Mel's is one of the few places where I've gotten into uh, almost a car accident because I've never ever crashed my car so far. How uh, did you almost get? How's that related to Mel's? Because it was, it was Mel's parking lot. Uh, <laughs> just a bad parking lot. I've never crashed my car or been crashed into in in any of my cars when I'm driving. Uh, but I have hit the inside of my driveway, uh, the inside of my garage once, uh, back with my Firebird, and then I have traded paint twice by tr- by trying to back out and and turning too sharply. Once was my parents' car, and it was against my parents' car because they they kind of boxed me in too much, and I was trying to get out, and I was like late for school, and I had to go, so I risked it, and it was a bad risk. Uh, so they there was a they found a red smear on their car later, uh, because that was my that was my Firebird's color. And the other time was I was driving somebody, I was driving my parents' car, and was it, I was like at, we were at Mel's, and my mom was paying, and so I was out and getting in the car, I'm like, aha, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be all on top of things, I'm gonna quit, I'm, instead of waiting in the car, I'm actually gonna back out, and I'm gonna drive up and pick her up at the front door, and be ready already, but I, I was a little too uh, aggressive with that, and I ended up uh, scraping the, uh, the car next to me, and they didn't want to do it on insurance, so instead they did like a trade they did like a uh, they did like a trade because like my my dad was like my dad worked at a uh, auto upholstery shop. It's like I know people that could like buff this out and and clean up this problem real quickly and cheaply, and then we just do like a trade work thing for that instead of like actually doing dealing with insurance. So that it was like almost free. It's much better than going through insurance. Yeah. I, that, but those are my own. That, that's my Mel's memory. I remember that more. I remember that that shame better than I remember <laughs> any food at Mel's. Shame really sticks with. I can't people. think about anything about Mel's besides it's the, very the, the, the menu and the table and just the fact that it's like uh, you probably can you can probably get a burger there and a shake. Shake like exactly like, like a that. Foster's. Yeah. Which I've been to way more. The whole reason you go to Mel's is for the theming. It, like, like it's yeah. like it's like Bubba Gump's, which is meaningless to me because I've never seen American Graffiti. You should really see American Graffiti. Why? Why good, would I do that? It's a good movie. Ruin the mystery. <laughs> <laughs> so is that way you don't have bad... It can lessen your bad no. memory of Mel's. No, just, I, I watch movies with people, so it's up to you and Toaster to just cure all of my blind spots by picking those movies that, the next time. That's just... That's what happens. I don't... I, I, just, I, just, I watch TV alone, and I watch movies with people. That's how it works. <laughs> I, I, I was given free tickets by a stranger to go see American <laughs> Graffiti... On the street, American Graffiti was filmed at at the at the uh, the um, landmark theater that is there. That is also, I think, in the movie. Why? And so when, when I walked out of the theater, I was like, "Oh, that's the street where that thing just happened." Like An old fashioned with cheese, a quarter pounder burger stacked with sauce, pickle, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. Is that, is that from the movie? Is that the old fashioned? No, it's just a, it's just a burger joint. It's where it's all the it's all, where all the kids hang out. Is this so that part's not a reference? That's not a cool reference. No, it's reference. just a fucking burger. That's like, not sweet. It's a Royale with cheese. See, that's a reference. <laughs> that's a burger reference, right? Yeah, there. that's what I thought. I'm like, there's, <laughs> there's, there's nothing specific about the food. It's just where all it's where Ron Howard and all his old friends hang uh, out. I thought this was all deep lore about Mel's. No, you guys like the part? I like the episode where we talk about Mel's for a long time. Yes. Yeah, so, sorry, you guys. <laughs> I was just thought the Flynn premiere would go. <laughs> have you still, have you not seen Indiana? You're the one that hasn't seen Indiana Jones either. No. Oh my god. I've only seen the bad one. That's horrible. Ever. Oh no. Yeah. You you and Toaster got you got to fix this. You gotta, oh no. The sad you're thing is I don't, even, I don't even know. This thing makes me sad. Is I don't even know if you'd like them. Like that's the thing. It's like I don't know if I'd like them. It's just like a classic adventure movie. It's like movie. a whatever adventure movie. Because like, you, you don't like the Goonies. Like, I'm just now finishing re- watching all of the Star Wars shows for Toaster. Well, not all of them. All the new ones. Because there's, if I, I can't say all of them because there's like 50 seasons of like animated ones. I can't watch any of those with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm almost done. I just finished Obi-Wan. I already finished Boba and Mandalorian. And so all I have left is Andor, which is supposed to be maybe the best one. Mandalorian's bad. No, sorry. Uh, Boba Fett is bad. The Boba show is bad. It's all bad. They're all pretty good so far. Obi Wan's shaky, but it is really trippy to see like recreations of scenes with like Hayden Christensen and stuff like that. Like that, that is weird. <laughs> that's like a trip. But uh, the Boba Fett ter- show is terrible, and the Mandalorian's pretty good. That's my review. The end. It can't be quantified how much I currently do not care about Star Wars. Like, damn. I if I see Baby Yoda one more time, I'm gonna punch someone in the face. I'm sick of that little fucker. I'm sick of seeing him all the time. Fuck. All that. Too much. 
get it with grilled onions. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> everything looks and smells the same, from the faded, patched stools to the smell of burgers and fries. Out of habit, I start walking towards the corner booth, the one we always used to sit at. Where are you going? Huh? I look back at Flynn, who's standing near the counter, looking ready to sit on one of the stools. Oh, come on, Flynn. Those are uncomfortable. Besides, it'll be better. It'll be easier to talk. I'm actually a little jealous of this. Every time I see this in media, what? Like, we do, the, well, like the, ki the the kids that go to the diner and they have like their their booth they always go to and they always hang out yeah, there and they like always eat. Melts. They all have they all have they have malts. They go have malts like at the malt shop. That's, that's the vibe. <laughs> they say words like malt shop out loud on purpose. Yeah, yeah the little girls with the roller skates come up. <laughs> I've and... never had a, a hangout because I grew up in the fucking era where everyone was terrified of their kids going outside for two seconds. Oh, I mean, me and my friends would hang out at the like, mall. Everyone's gonna get snatched. They're all gonna get stolen by the child stealing crisis that's happening which wasn't happening you know is it, just, that the, it, is it, the height it just of, wasn't real is it the height of fear-mongering media involving child abductions yeah. but statistically there was no increase in child abductions and, and now and all no, and we know and we know that any abductions that do happen the vast majority were done by people pe in the family pe anyway. people in the family people that they knew yeah but then also they, they now they now uh, point towards a lot of like the young adults like our age depression on the fact that we weren't allowed to have agency yeah. or choices as children which yeah. I, I feel like is probably pretty Which accurate. gets worse every generation, and it's not because the kids. No. Like, because, like, one, we were we were, all, we were all forced to stay indoors and always tell people where we were all the time. And, like, and like this the, the, the contradiction here was never registered by our parents in a lot of cases. So, like, they would often be, like, you'd always hear, like, these complaints. Like, kids these days don't even do anything. I used to go outside, drink from the hose. My parents locked me out all day, and I had to just go fend for myself. And it's like, yeah, but you're my parents, and you forced me not to do that the whole time. To the point, like, in my case, they're, my fucking... My parents tried to call the cops when I didn't show up from school one day and I didn't have a cell phone and it was because I was staying behind for a school thing and then I was just going to get driven home and they called the cops and suddenly I had a cell phone the next week because oh, I mean, that, that, part's cool. that was a whole thing. But there, there, is a, uh, there is a push towards what they refer to as free range parenting, which is just basically reverting back to what was the original form of parenting yeah. where you would just let your kids do it. I mean, obviously there should be some general monitoring. But not also society is closed down. Like. I don't even just mean I don't even mean the pandemic specifically, but that made things worse. But even before then, like people have been so like uh, like uh, anti, like people have like pu there aren't really public spaces for people to hang out anymore. There's like hostile anti loitering stuff, and there's all these like anti teenager like like buzzers, like you know what I mean? Like those things they they have like. They have like speaker systems that emit noises that are off-putting to anyone that has like younger ears because and it'll try to get them to just go away. Like there's they have anti-teenager like weird like police state systems to get to stop them from hanging out in any of the places they would hang out. Like more and more society has closed down to stop specifically these kinds of behaviors that the people doing the, those actions are nostalgic about, and then they wonder why they, they don't happen anymore, and why, people, why kids don't hang out outside, and why they're all online and filming prank videos for TikTok. Oh God! <laughs> I think people should have, uh, yeah, na like neighborhood kids should play together. You should be like areas of nature. You should look next to a forest or something. Yeah. Go do some Blair Witch stuff with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's just not really an option. And, and like I said, malls were like where I would hang out with my friends, but they basically don't exist now. Yeah. You know? It's like, oh, go get a Baskin Robbins and like go sit at the mall. Like, it's they like, okay, that's. one flavors. That's not like a thing that wow. people, anyone wants to. Like, they don't exist anymore. No. My mall is a sad little shell of itself that I'm pretty sure is like a, uh, a cover for like several money laundering schemes. And like, it's just a bunch <laughs> of cell phone repair shops and perfume stores that nobody shops at. I don't know how yeah. they exist. Want, want a luggage store? That's definitely a mon money laundering scheme. That has to be. How do people make money off of that? It's like 50 jewelry stores half the time, too. Like the, uh, they look the same. <laughs> it's like it's like one jewelry store repeating over and over again. It's like half of a mall at this point. Yeah. And then, <sighs> and then there's a Spencer's with a raven in it. <laughs> and also, I'm not really big on like giving anyone money because like I've been trying to not buy anything because buying things makes people yeah. miserable. And to the best of my ability, obviously, there's some things you can't really avoid. But yeah, so not much to do out in the world. I've been playing a lot of pool lately. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing a lot of pool lately. No wonder why kids pick up drugs and alcoholism. <laughs> <laughs> 
Some of the patrons are starting to look up from their meals. Flynn looks around, clearly embarrassed, and shoves his hands into his pockets, making his way over to me. Fine. I slide into the booth, into my usual spot on the right-hand side. Usually Leo would sit next to me. Flynn sits opposite of me, leaning back, eyes half open. Tired? Yep. I wait for him to elaborate, but he doesn't go on. Up late? Flynn reaches up and rubs his eyes. Yeah. The long breath he takes in before he says before he says that tells me he's starting to get annoyed, so I drop it. Luckily, that's when Janice, the old diner waitress, comes over to our table. See, Janice is annoying, but we need to break up awkward silence. She's perfect. Yeah, she's perfect. Chase, my goodness, what are you doing here? Hi, Janice. Just doing a school project. Oh, really? I wonder what sort of school it might be here for you. I'm actually just getting some film of the town. Flynn's covered both his eyes with his hands now, as if that's going to make him invisible. <laughs> see, so big. That's, that's not see, a possibility. I can't see you, so you can't see me. Janice is gonna razz anyone. Flynn's not immune to this. And you, Flynn? I can't see I've seen you at all recently. Flynn makes a low grunting sound, not taking his hands away. Janice keeps talking, though, unfazed. Well, anything you'd like to drink while you're deciding on your meal? Water. Chase. <gasps> a choice? Wow, that's a big choice. Wow. Strawberries. <laughs> uh, I'll have a strawberry shake. Sure thing. Flynn does, does move his hands at this point and looks at me. His expression is odd, like he wants to say something. I look back and raise my brows, but he just shuts his muzzle and looks out the window. Isn't that... Wasn't there strawberry shakes in the ending of Jenna's route? Isn't that what, what Carl got or something? No, pink lemonade. Yeah, but no, it was pink, pink lemonade. lemonade. But I think he, he also got ice cream sundae and pink lemonade. Yeah. Which is a weird combination, <laughs> if you ask me. It's really gross. It's super gross. Either of those is fine, but just stacking the intensely sweet things together, I'd feel so gross halfway through trying to eat it. Imagine getting like an ice cream sundae, but also getting a glass of milk. Uh, <laughs> it's too much. No. Nope. See, I'm a, I, I would have picked root beer float. I'm a root beer float person. Yeah. I'm not a shake. I don't like shakes very much. I look back and raise my brows, but he just sits, sits. He just shuts his muzzle and looks out the window. All right. I'll be back with you. As Janice moves on to some of the other patrons, I look back at Flynn. Are you going to say something? Flynn shakes his head. Folding his arms on the table and hunching forward. No. Somehow his mood is even darker than it was earlier. I sigh, frustrated. I'm so. It's so damn hard to understand Flynn. His mood swings are absolutely ridiculous. I lean back and fold my arms, scowling. What? You know exactly what. I'm trying to be friendly here. Flynn shrugs, a bewildered expression on his face. I don't know what to say, Chase. It's been a shitty day. I don't say anything, and just look out the window like Flynn. Again, there's a tense silence between us. I just listen to the chatter, the clatter of silverware from the other two people in the diner, along with the old rockabilly music playing over the crackly speakers. Finally, Flynn sighs. I decide that a sign that... I decide that's his signature expression, like Carl's shrug. Sorry, I'm just... Like I said, it's been a shitty day. It's fine. That's when Janice brings over our drinks before taking a, a notepad out to take our orders. I wonder if we're gonna be able to choose our food, too. Yeah. Alright, what do you have? And there's an elaborate custom CG for every combination. All 362. Oh my goodness. The tuna melt. Yay! Onion rings. I love tuna melts. I don't like making grammatically accurate sentences. <laughs> uh-huh. And you, Chase. <gasps> A bacon cheeseburger. You don't want the tuna melt with the, Fucking the never. strawberry shake. Gross. It's <laughs> a weird combination uh, too. Gross. Honestly, even having I'm having a milkshake with a meal I'm, is right out for me. Like that's I mean, that's, that's already what, too that's much. What a, that's, what, that's what a diner is. 
No, you, I wouldn't have gone for straw. I would have wanted a chocolate shake, not a strawberry you, one. Like maybe a dessert, but like I want my food with like water. Yeah, well, always water, but yeah. Maybe at the end, a shake if I have a room still. But doing both, that's like a big thing. I want a tuna then. melt and some water so the tuna can swim around and be happy. <laughs> <laughs> that's his order company. Re reintroduced to its natural habitat. <laughs> Water with this tuna melt. I hate it. Why? That's exactly what I would order. That's no, like literally not verbatim. Just the water. Yeah, no, no, hell yeah. Oh, no, water's what I get at restaurants. Ugh. Maybe a lemonade or alcohol um, or coffee. Nothing yeah. else. Alcohol with your tuna melt. Yes, but also water. <laughs> a beer <laughs> and a tuna melt sounds really good. I, I hate it. I hate, I hate that he ordered a tuna melt and onion rings and water. That that's that is the opposite. That is the healthiest no. thing to do. Why would it is you... the healthiest. No, well, no. There's no. It's not healthiest to get onion rings. Well, the onion rings is the only part that's maybe. If, but, maybe but... if they just give you an onion, but no, it's well, it's fucking like deep well, fried well, onion. No, water's the healthiest option for eating a meal. Like, why would you not pick water? That, no. <laughs> dude, it, oh, dude, that amount of calories in a cheeseburger and a milkshake. This is this is. That's I was probably... I was with them on Fault in Our Stars, but water with your with your onion rings. Disgusting, dude. Cringe like you even. probably could get your total Cringe. daily calorie input with everybody the debate bacon these cheeseburger. <laughs> the milkshake's probably already like how much you should be eating every day. Like that's everybody crazy. Everybody debate these options in the comments. Also, I'm too distracted. I'm gonna order from the diner real quick. We'll be right back. Yeah, Keith's been like looking at his phone for like ten minutes. <laughs> We're literally doing it. It's torture. Okay, oh, so do, silly. Do you want anything from Mel's? <laughs> is, is there a local Mel's? Apparently, <laughs> I did not know that. Well, I mean. It, BRB. The bacon cheeseburger sounds good. Alrighty. And what do you have on the side? Fries. Say please. I, I wonder if this was like an opportunity to try to match up the same order as Flynn to make him curious or something. He had like a reaction to the strawberry. I wonder if there's like a correct answer somehow through this that leads to a different outcome. It would be funny if you did just copy him and he got pissed off about it, but I don't think you can't. Can. I don't know. This is the most choices we've had in ages, so it's like tripping me out. Yeah. It's like... Uh, fries, please. Flynn is staring at me in a weird, squinting sort of way, as if he's trying to see something. Great. I'll have it right over. Sit tight. As Janice bustles away, I look to the side, then back at Flynn. What? Flynn keeps squinting, his face incredulous now. Do you really not... He doesn't finish, and instead shakes his head. N never mind. Seriously? You're kind of freaking me out. Flynn chuckles and covers his eyes again, rubbing. Same. Did we- did I do it? Did I win? <laughs> did I pick the weird combination that does something? That's not really a weird combination, though. I know, but just like, the, out of the options given... There's a lot of variability. Did I pick some sort of specific combo that makes him think something? Or or I'm wondering if he's just watching us make a choice. And the act of making a choice... Like, whatever the hell's going on with, like, uh, Samuel or whatever. Like, is Flynn, like, noticing? It's like season two of Fleabag. And where where the where the the priest notices her talking to the audience, yeah, and you're yeah. like what? <laughs> it was like one of the coolest things. It's that, like that, that was really. It's cool. like is Flynn noticing us? Is is Flynn noticing Samuel or something? Is that what's happening? Like what is this reaction? Like all we did was order a meal, and he's and he's and I'm like I'm like you're freaking me out. He's like same. Either it's a real <laughs> specific order that I picked, or something about the choices itself. What the, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> I'm opening my mouth to ask again, but he cuts me off. Listen, I've got the day off tomorrow. Do you, uh, you want to do something? Like without pants? I, sta <laughs> <laughs> I stare at him at a loss for words. Like, like swimming? You like swimming? <laughs> or, or, or swimming? Or uh, like, a, what, what else do people do without pants? Uh, First he's wrestling? acting like a complete douche, and then he wants my pants off for unrelated reasons to douching. <laughs> then he tells me I'm, then he tells me I'm scaring him, and now he's inviting me, hanging out with him? Is he... what do you call it? Bipolar? I feel like you would have noticed by now, Chase. I think he's just complicated. I... I guess? Alright. 
I'll come by sometime after noon. Maybe with Carl. He doesn't do shit, so he should be free. <laughs> okay, I guess I could use a break from working on the project for a bit. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's like such a running gag. Every use time a break it comes up. from what? Have you, you haven't started he yet. Never, he almost doofus. never does anything. He gets the most work done when he's torturing Leo by making him just watch him study at the library, and Leo's just like, just like sad but dog I wanna on the cuddle. bed. Yeah, that's like how my dog looks to me when I'm doing homework. <laughs> Flynn, Flynn goes on to tell me that he and Leo often go out to fish on their days off, and it's actually a lot of fun. This is news to me. Oh, so, so Leah goes fishing with Flynn. Yeah, between this and the last thing we saw, like, this is all news to me because I was convinced that Leo just didn't hang out with anyone. Completely cut off from both Flynn and Carl the moment Chase was gone, and didn't care about them outside of their, that context. But he doesn't seem to be involved in Carl's life at all. Well, the uh, like the way that Flynn and Leo interact when they're together, especially like when they're at Carl's house trying to throw that fucking birthday. Which might not happen in this route, now that I think about it. If we're gonna hang out with Carl tomorrow. Hmm. But, but anyways, like, they seem like they fucking hate each other. So I did not get the impression that they were, like, at all chill. Yeah, because they're so at odds with each other in, in, over the course of the game. I mean, it could just be related to Flynn's outburst at the beginning, or maybe to, like, the weird sexual tension they apparently have that I didn't know <laughs> was there. That's the real reason all along. I'm still trying to get used to this shift in conversation when Janice shows up with our food. Flynn stares down at his giant, greasy sandwich while I take a giant bite of mine. Fuck, I'm gonna regret this. Why? It tastes great. Well, you're lucky. This kind of food fucks up my stomach. Do you make your own food? <laughs> yep. It's like a, like a dog with a special diet. Like, you yeah. gotta make him food at home. I snort, and Flynn looks up sharply. S sorry, it's just hard to imagine. Yeah, be like a little Tupperware container with fish, and you take it to Carl, and it's really sweet. He's eating fish right now. I don't know why. Like this yeah. food would fuck him up. Well, it's greasy. It's oh. in boil. It's a. Uh, it's like a ch it's probably deep fried, or a chicken sandwich. It's a tuna melt. Oh, a tuna melt, right? You know, hey, I'm a real good cook. Tuna melt's just like a grilled cheese with tuna in it. It's so fucking good, dude. Oh my gosh. Why is it greasy then? I mean, it's the grease from the pan, I guess. Like, yeah. You know like how a grilled cheese sandwich could have like butter yeah. on the bread? I don't know. I guess the expression of my face is showing. I don't, I don't buy it because he smirks back at me. Fine. Sometime this week, you're coming over. I'll show you then. Ooh. We're gonna Netflix and Ooh, chill. We're gonna cook together. That's really, it's pretty cute. I don't think Chase can cook. <laughs> well, Flynn's gonna cook for him and that's why yeah. it's romantic. I shrug. Even though I feel like I've won some some kind of secret battle we're having. It is like the polar opposite of Leo and his TV dinners. Yeah. <laughs> Guess he's best boy now, everybody. <laughs> Deal. What if, uh, he, like, Flynn's like, I have a sensitive stomach because I'm a, supposed to be eating uh, dethawed rats because I'm, I'm a big uh, lizard. <laughs> I am a large lizard and I need to have careful... <laughs> If I fed my snake a tuna melt, she wouldn't be happy either. I have a very specific diet. Yeah. Oh no. I don't do not recommend testing. 